in your business, you should be differentiating. Make yourself different than your competitors. Everybody know exactly what that means? Yes. yes. Okay, what are some of the things you do to differentiate? Uh, specialize in first time home buyers. Okay, first time home buyers. Now, there's nobody else doing first time home buyers? There are some people that are doing it, but not to the education level that I am. Got you. I'm More education. To answer their questions. All right, go ahead, to Mr. Joel. Thank you. Branding and exposure. Branding and exposure. All great, but do your competitors have branding and do they get exposure? No, not as good. Nah, not as good. So you're saying you're better than they are. Excellent. So there are a lot of ways to differentiate. I always find that to be confusing because I hear people say that they're really good at customer service. They return phone calls and emails within 24 hours. Well, even loving your clients and treating them as friends is not enough differentiation. Why? Because your competitors can do the same thing. Now, what would make you really unique in your offering? I wanna share with you a concept that I've implemented in my businesses over the past 30 years. It's called layering, okay? I made this up, but it's layering a complexity of offerings that your competitors either can't offer or don't offer the same combination that you do. So, as an example, in my business, you know, I do marketing and advertising. Well, everybody does marketing and advertising, and there's a tons of people that can do websites. But there's a certain level of influence after having worked with thousands of clients that I can connect my clients to some of those clients so that they can do business together. Then, for example, I'll talk to Adam from To The Moon Moving, and he has a little issue with moving from New Braunfels to San Antonio and wants to get a San Antonio address. So then we can layer in helping him with his internet web listings for his business, something that most design firms probably don't do. And a lot of this layering comes from ideas that clients are willing to pay us to do. They come up with the ideas, they share them. All I'm doing is listening. Now it did take 30 years to figure all this stuff out, but we've created a recipe or a formula that our competitors either can't offer or don't offer because they haven't had the same experiences. Every single one of you has had the same experiences. I know Iman, you for example, get suggestions from your clients of things that they would like for you as their bookkeeper to do. If you start adding those, especially the ones that people find valuable, and you layer them into your offering, eventually, when you're in business for 10, 15, 20 years, you'll have a recipe that your competitors, other bookkeepers can't offer. So, when you think about differentiation, I want you to think of a master hairstylist. And if you all remember, not the young people, I'm gonna look for the people with a little gray hair, if you all remember Farrah Fawcett and her layered hair, you had to be done by a LA master hairstylist, you know, and everybody remembers that hair layering, right? <clears throat> Think about that in your business. And if you layer your offering in a way that your competitors can, you will be differentiated. Yeah.